Thank you for joining us this week on In Wheel Time. This is Michael Mars, and today we're looking at the 2013 Nissan 370Z Touring. Now this is a true sports car for the driver. With a long sloping hood, it's got some molded daytime running lights up front, and that entire European style front end just really sets it off. Now this two-seater comes in either a coupe or a roadster, and there are two trim levels, and there's one limited edition. Now while the base model rolls on some nice 18 inch wheels, our review touring model has some cool looking 19 inch wheels that are wrapped in low profile rubber and help show off the larger brakes that come with the available sport package. Under the hood of the 370Z is a variation of the 3.7 liter V6 and produces 332 horsepower here and it's backed by a 6 speed manual. Now there's also a 7 speed automatic that is available but it kind of seems out of place on such a fine sports car. There's also a limited edition model that will hit you with 350 horses. On the interior we're going to see some distinctive 370Z stylings with some soft touch material at the touch points and we're going to see that the door pulls are large easy to grip for one reason there's fewer switches for the windows. Now the door handles themselves are some nice machine finished round uh, aluminum pieces with a door lock that's embedded so that when your hand slides in to grab it and un you just automatically unlock it. Grip the handle in one fluid motion and it looks pretty cool too. The traction controls are on the left side of the dash for easy driver reach and then there's the digital support screen and it's controlled by two buttons that are mounted on the dash kind of upper left that make it easy to configure for each driver's preferences. There's also a handy little digital gear indicator sitting at the bottom of the speedometer for when you're bouncing around between the gears and uh, you don't go directly one to six. Now on the right side of the dash we're going to find another two buttons that are controlling the speedometer and the odometer type settings for trip. And then on the steering wheel is where we're going to find our controls for our audio system as well as our Bluetooth and uh, other features of that nature. On the right hand side is where we're going to find the controls for the cruise. Over top center of the dash we're going to find the auxiliary gauges that includes a boost gauge as well as the clock. And these are actually tilted towards the driver for easy viewing. Then we're going to see that there's a 7 inch color monitor mounted at the top of the center stack and just below that is where we're going to find the manual controls that are actually a little easier to reach than the touch screen. Down below that on the center stack we're going to find the audio controls as well as the CD player and the climate controls for the dual zone system. Now at the head of the center console is a sport mode button that easily slips the 370Z into a real performance mode as if it wasn't already. Now the six speed shifter is wrapped in leather while the heating and cooling for the seats is mounted in the center portion of the console. And there is a single cup holder in the center console. Coming on back we're going to see some storage that's inside the center console. There's going to be a 12 volt power supply in there as well as a set of RCA inputs for external audio input. Now moving on around the interior we're going to see that there's a large glove box for storage in the dash as well as several different storage configurations on the door panels. The seats have a performance feel to the material and they're perforated so that the heating and cooling systems can work. Now behind the seats we're going to see that there is a few storage options including one compartment that you can reach from the driver's seat and pop it open for a, a quick grab of a few things. Probably best not to do it while you're driving. The 2013 Nissan 370Z maintains a classic style with rounded corners that flow out to cover the wide 19 inch wheels and having seen one of these that's been shaved of emblems and door handles it only gets to look better. We'd like to thank you again for joining us this week on In Wheel Time as we've been reviewing the 2013 Nissan 370Z Touring. Now you can hear the In Wheel Time radio show on the Yahoo Sports Network as well as streaming live on the web at inwheeltime.com. And if you like what you hear, be sure to like us on Facebook. So until next time, 